And our other top story tonight, October 28th of last year, Officer Myron Jarrett was hit and killed while responding to a traffic stop. Today, the man who was behind the wheel heard just how much pain he's caused. With emotions running very high today, Officer Jarrett's widow, Sasha, spoke just a short time ago. And she did it as her husband's killer, Stephen Gazina, looked on. Coco McAvoy is live downtown tonight. Uh, Coco Gazina apologized in court. Yes, Kimberly and Steve, it was a very emotional day in court and Stephen Gazina did apologize to the family, but Officer Myron Jarrett's wife, Sasha, also had the chance to speak about her heartbreak. Officer Jarrett and every police officer uh, working the street has a difficult job enough every day, every shift. In October of last year, Officer Myron Jarrett was on duty assisting officers with an investigation when Stephen Gazina ran him over and ran away from the scene. During Gazina's sentencing today, Officer Jarrett's wife spoke about that awful night. I cannot describe the feeling in my stomach when I opened my front door to see Sergeant Johnson standing there to tell me I need to come to the hospital. Nor can I describe my heartbreak when I learned my husband was deceased. She says she and Officer Jarrett were high school sweethearts. Because of Mr. Guzina, I no longer have my soulmate and my children no longer have a father. Though it's been very difficult for her, she says she refuses to hate Guzina. Because that would eat away at me constantly and I would not allow him to take anything else from me. Then it was Gazina's chance to speak, and he apologized to Sasha Jarrett and her family. But I'm so sorry, Mrs. Jarrett, this happened. I'm so sorry your children don't have a father and you don't have a husband. I'm so sorry the destruction that I did to your family. Now, Gazina will spend more than a decade in prison for his reckless actions that claim the life of Officer Myron Jarrett. And Gazina was sentenced to at least 16 years behind bars. Two other officers were involved in the crash that day, but they were not injured. Back to you. 16 years behind bars, is that the maximum amount that he can get? No, Kimberly, the maximum amount he can get is 20 years in prison, and he won't be eligible for parole until he's 71 years old. Yeah. Tough day in court, Coco. All right, thank you.